We've been talking a little bit about losing, uh, losing a child, a miscarriage, and we want to find out why it's happening, and that's the question that we get asked all the time. Mm -hmm. Why is it happening? What's, what's going on? So it can be really divided into three things. Mm -hmm. One is unexplained. We have no idea why it's happening. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, it's something that is a genetic thing that happens spontaneously. So, you know, when eggs and sperm come together and they mix and they have to divide into cells evenly, those chromosomes need to pair up in pairs. Okay. And when the chromosomes don't line up the right way, we call that aneuploidy. And when that happens, the pregnancy doesn't develop the normal way mm -hmm. and women will miscarry. Right. Sometimes it is due to maternal factors, so something's in the female uterus, the, the shape of the uterus. Um, sometimes people have what's called a Mullerian anomaly, which is a big word to say. When the uterus is forming embryologically, it doesn't form in the right shape. Mm -hmm. And then when a pregnancy tries to implant in the unusually formed uterus, it miscarries. Mm -hmm. So that would be a maternal factor. Yeah. Sometimes when moms have other diseases like diabetes, they're at higher risk of miscarriage when their sugars are not as well controlled. Right. Um, one we've talked about before, polycystic ovarian syndrome, that would be another maternal factor, so a, a woman factor. Um, and then in the fetus, if the fetus is developing abnormally congenitally, so just the way that it's folding and dividing, it doesn't happen normally, mm -hmm. then that would also end in miscarriage. But the number one reason is genetics that are sporadic, no control, there's nothing you could do to prevent it mm -hmm. um, until the day comes where doctors will be able to program the way genes combine to make a baby. There will be no way that we can change the genetic abnormalities that have happened and that result in miscarriage. So that really brings me to the, the big point that I need to drive home in this, in this conversation that I have in my office often, almost mm -hmm. daily, is there's nothing that you could have done to prevent this from happening. And women need to rid our, we are crazy guilt people. I don't know why, yeah. but it, pregnancy, it doesn't only rely on the women. The pregnancy also relies on the man, who relies on the genetics, the combination. A lot of this is random. Mm -hmm. And much as we feel the devastation, and I, I get it, the wanting of a pregnancy, the desire for pregnancy, and sometimes it's guilt not only in, from yourself, but from family. That which is brutal. Yeah, yeah. Like it wasn't the fact that you were working out. It wasn't the jog yeah. you took. Yeah. It wasn't that you know you're you're working too long hours. You didn't sleep. You do shift work. You didn't sleep. Yeah. You're not eating well enough. This is like it's completely beyond you. And I'm just going to leave you with Christina, another viewer who said um, the stinger is at every doctor's appointment afterwards when they ask you how many pregnancies have you had, followed by how many living children. Mm -hmm. It's something you've got to live with forever. And a lot of people think. You know, just because the miscarriage is done and you've had more kids, you've forgotten it, but you don't ever forget. No, and, and doctors can be insensitive sometimes. I mean, I, I am a woman's health doctor, I'm a fertility specialist, so, you know, we have questionnaires, I let people fill it out, and yeah. I'll write it in from the questionnaire. I don't like to... Um, make people make repeat people it again repeat and again. It because it's, it's traumatic. Yeah. And I think that some of my patients, not everyone, but you know, we, we talk about mental health and things that can be triggering, and having to talk about it every single time you have a doctor's appointment can also be triggering. Right, and people sure. can, this can actually put people into depression. So it's also important to know that you have health care providers and there are mental health care providers that are there to support women. And we have that in our office, mm -hmm. to support women, not just from the medical perspective. Yes, you're bleeding. I'll make sure you get the medications and make sure your uterus is clear. But also, are you OK? Yeah. Because this is a lot. It's a lot to deal with. And sometimes even the partners don't know how to handle it. So. Patients and individuals need to know we need to talk about this. Mm -hmm. We need to know that there are supports and there are people who can help us through this, and you're not alone. Yeah, you're not alone. You're not alone, and you didn't do it to yourself. This Find happens. the resources and keep the conversation going on Twitter. So mm -hmm. at CityLineCA, if you have any questions for us or other topics you want us to cover, we will cover them.